Hi guys, welcome to this newest video. So for this video, we're going to do this Ali Abdul style skin recording glow effect, which he puts around his face. Let's jump straight into my computer and show you guys how this is done. So for the lazy fellows out there, for the lazy editors out there, I've already made a preset a overlay pack of this particular glow effect. All you have to do is just go to a link in the description below. It is a free pack, but I will just drop down a discount code which is a 100% discount code around this video in any part of this video so make sure to watch the entire video for the discount code so when i'm in final cut pro you have to do a few things of course you have to have your skin recording or any kind of video which you are reacting to second is you have to have a good background so if you go to the ali abdul's video just like this one you will see he has a very good background he has his face on the right hand side and he has the glow effect on this particular area. Now this is very simple to do. All you have to do is make a background just like this. If you don't have any kind of preset packs, you can search on the internet. There are loads of them. Have a skin record just like this. This is the new iPad video which is for the Final Cut Pro it's app video. So I'll just use this one and you know reduce the size just like this so that we get the same effect. Another thing I like to do is add a shape mask to this. So go to this and add a shape mask just like this and you are good to go. Let's say I am dropping the feather back to zero, increasing the shape mask just like this and this and this is just any talking clip. So just to be clear for this kind of event, the best footages are mostly arrows shot in a bit of a darker background. Although in Ali Abdul's case, it is not a very dark background. But then again, if you see the color grading on the footage, the edges are a bit dark so that this particular effect or this particular glow actually shines if it's completely in a white background or in a very bright background then it will not look good now after this is done all you have to do is just drag my overlay onto this just like this and as you can see this is already a pre-made preset and i did a little bit trick of my own and didn't really quite copy early because i felt copying directly would be bad so i just added my own flair to it and made that glow a little bit more catchy to be honest and again just do this rotate this 90 degrees and change the blending mode to light in or screen and this should be pretty much done so this is your frame and now what you have to do is let's say this is your frame and you reduce the size just like this right around here and you have to play with the shape mask on this one. This is pretty easy. I drag the shape mask to this again and play with this so that it fits in with this particular area. This will take a bit of time for you because if you're doing this for the first time, yes, the masking and the edges will take a bit of time for you to fix. So zero right here. Right about this. Again, since this is already a pre-edited video, which I just used for the purpose of a tutorial, so the framing is not really the best, but you got the point, hopefully. Now, this is how it looks like. Pretty good, looks pretty good. The glow is pretty good. Also, if you are not a fan of yellow colors, then just click on the Ali Abdul Glow and click on the HSL curves and play with it. And you can change it to any color which you like. For me personally, yellow is the best one. So that's what I chose. But you can choose any color which you like. And it looks pretty good on its own. Now that's enough for this video guys. If you guys like this kind of video, then do me sure to drop a like. Subscribe to this channel. I've been away for quite some time because I was scaling my agency. So if you guys don't know, I have a video editing agency. I help other YouTubers edit their videos at a very reasonable rate. So if you're someone who wants to get their videos edited, especially talking headshots, then do make sure to reach out to me and if this is something that interests you if you want more such tutorials if you want to have a breakdown of Ali Abdul's style of editing for shorts then do wish to comment down below because I know a lot of people are interested on that too yes so with that being said guys I'm Pixel Sammy we'll be back with a new video soon peace out